What's happening everybody? Happy Tuesday. Ryan Murphy checking in 5am thoughts. Quick shout out to my man Nick Vera over at the Tribe Strength and Conditioning. If you're in San Antonio and you are an athlete and specifically a baseball athlete but any athlete trying to get stronger, remember strength is a prerequisite to power. Meaning if you want to throw cheese, you want to hit bombs, you want to run a fast 60, play a Division One baseball, play college baseball, go see those guys. Um, coachability, that is a buzzword that I feel like it's thrown around a lot. We live in a society where you get raised, you know, your parents say, hey, be respectful, respect authority, be coachable, and all that is great. I'm gonna play devil's advocate and say that we are now in a society by and large where people are too coachable. We've got this information funnel that is abundant, that is constantly flowing, and whether you're wanting to go to Google to find answers about whatever it is that you're trying to quote unquote fix, um, or you want to go to get people information in your life, you can at any time reach out via text message to however many people you have in your contacts. So coachability and being coachable is a good thing, no doubt. But where it starts to create an issue is if you don't have a foundation for who you are, and if you don't understand your best process, again, with input from other people, but at the end of the day, you're your own final coach. When you go out to pitch, nobody else is out there to be able to do it with you. It's you. So who are you when you're your best competitor? When you're going out to on a business meeting, you take your training and development and then it's time to compete though. It's time to be you. So if you're too coachable, you're very susceptible to paralysis by analysis because you're going to have the authentic genuine you that's got instincts that's saying, hey, this is how I know how to best do it colliding and fighting with the other million versions of what you've been told that you should be if you want to be better. So who are you? Figure it out. And then as far as being coachable, take in information, but it's like any relationship. It's got to be on an even playing field. It's not a one-way street, a one-way flow of information. And if your coaches aren't willing to let you challenge them back, find new coaches.